guys welcome back to another video so today I'm going to be doing a foundation review and today's video is finally going to be on the wet n wild photo focus foundation this is what the foundation looks like I got the shade caramel so I have been using this foundation for quite a while now I've managed to play around with it um, and see how it works on my skin this is super affordable by the way I got it on Amazon when I do reviews they're like super quick and straight to the point but basically like I'll put um kind of like a demo when I'm wearing it um so this has like a doe foot applicator um which is super convenient I love that it's so convenient to like put it on your face um as you blend it it blends seamlessly um I prefer it with a brush rather than a sponge for some reason it doesn't like blend well like when you blend it with a beauty blender it kind of leaves the imprint of the round beauty blender on it so it doesn't work well for me personally with a beauty blender um it's also quite like a matte full coverage foundation so when I put it on it's matte but it doesn't dry me out it doesn't make my nose flake or my forehead flake it's quite a really like it's really matte but it doesn't dry me out which is a huge thumbs up I don't mind matte foundation and I believe that's why it's called a photo focus foundation because matte faces look better on camera it covers my pigmentation effortlessly and it just stays on like it doesn't budge I do have to use a color corrector on my mouth because it gets a bit ashy but apart from that, like, I don't really have much to say. I've taken many flash photos with it and it doesn't give that flashback effect. It's also cruelty free. It has a little bunny rabbit there. I always support cruelty free brands. Um, you get 30ml in here, which is your standard amount. And caramel is like the perfect colour for me. Apart like the only issue I had is like with Beauty Blender, but with the brush it goes on so nice. If you're like oily skin tone, you're going to love it. But even I have dry, it works fine i don't know my experience has been really good with this foundation um i would rate it maybe like a nine out of ten it's a good foundation the only thing oh that other thing the last thing i have to say it smells like oil paint it literally smells like oil paint yeah it just smells nasty like when i put it on i can kind of smell it so actually because of that i'm going to give it an eight out of ten because the smell is really disgusting if you have this foundation and it smells like that let me know and if it doesn't let me know as well then that means i just got a dodgy one but apart from the smell and the beauty blender issue, it's a good foundation. Um, and it makes my skin look super flawless. I'm not wearing anything. I'm not wearing it today. But yeah, it's a really, really good one. So yeah, definitely an 8 out of 10 for me. It's affordable, super full coverage. It's matte. Um, I don't, I'm not a fan of matte, but this one's okay. It looks really nice. Like it makes your skin look doll-like. And it stays on. Like it's a really good affordable drugstore foundation. And the colour range is I mean, they could do a bit more like lighter and dark on each end, but it's a good range for a drugstore brand. So yeah, that's all I have to say about the foundation. This video is probably really quick. Let me know if you have tried this one and what your thoughts are on it. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.